while since we've done a video. Uh, we've been really busy with some other things. Uh, but a few weeks ago, my wife and kids surprised me with tickets to see Tim Hawkins, the Christian comedian. So we traveled down to Chattanooga, Tennessee and had a great time. So I want to show you some clips from that show and hope you enjoy it. work hard one day you too could perform in the creepiest town in the south. I am uh, Chattanooga, a great place to have a comedy show or hide a body, whatever you want to do. I'm already tired, man. I'm just running around. Thanks for coming, man. I tell you what, we used to do about, I used to do about 100 shows a year, now I do about half of that, and Chad Nuga, you are one of them. So Woo! thank you for having us. Well, I'm a big deal, man. I'm on the internet. That's hard to get on there. <laughs> My manager told me I have a billion hits on YouTube. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Of course, half of those are from one homeschool family in Idaho. So. <laughs> Other, this is a big high tech church. I think we're actually simulcasting this and people online couldn't make it tonight I mean, they couldn't be here live, but hey want to say hi to you guys online. Thanks for watching online and sorry You can't be here, but it's just important that oh, <laughs> And I mean when all I want you to know that It goes uh, well, I'm getting older guys. I know look at me. I know a lot of you guys is that Tim's dad? <laughs> But I still am, I'm still an idiot. I get dumber as I get older. You guys ever embarrass yourself? Just, just, you know, you do, we all. You ever do this? You ever walking down a flight of stairs and you think there's gonna be one more step? You ever do that? It's kind of hard to look cool when you do that. Well, yeah, that's how I do it now. That's how I walk. But women laugh different already tonight. Women sigh at the end of a laugh. When a woman laughs, it always ends in a gentle sigh. I guess to let us know you're wrapping it up. <laughs> you know, it's like, that is true. Oh my God, that is true. <laughs> it's crazy. Shut up. <laughs> it's <crazy. sighs> yeah, old people cough when they laugh. You ever notice that an old person laughs and slowly turns into a cough before you even know what happened? Like, Grandpa's having a great time. We need to take him to the hospital. <laughs> you ever see him do it? It's like, hey, shoot, you boy, I see you, man. How did you get in there? I tell you, man, you put in there. <laughs> but my body's changing in my 50s. Oh, my gosh, look at me. I got lopsided ears. I got varicose veins all over my legs. My toenails look like sun chips. For crying out loud. <laughs> Some of our road signs don't make sense. I was driving recently, I saw this road sign. All it said was slow church ahead. <laughs> no punctuation or nothing, just slow church ahead. I didn't know what to do. I'm supposed to drive slow because there's a church ahead. They're just real up front. No, dude. <laughs> don't go Sunday morning. That's a slow church, man. <laughs> it's going to take all day. Like you walk in, they greet you. How are you doing? <laughs> My mom thought one thing cured everything. <laughs> Vicks Vapo, bro. Vicks. Did you guys have Vicks in Tennessee growing up? They still make it. We don't even know what it is. It's like Vaseline mixed with gasoline. What is that stuff? Why would you smear that on a chest of a kid? You just slather it like I'm breathing in all night long, okay? gonna have you some music. That sound cool? Yeah. We do that? We can get into it. A uh, little song I just wrote. It's a song called Getting Out of Prison. Here we go. <laughs> Two, three, four. <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> That's right. What a horrible way to start off the second half. I, uh, I got booked to do a Jehovah's Witness church one time. And believe it or not, I don't have any Jehovah's Witness songs. So I wrote them one. They liked it. So. 
I'll do a little data for you right now. It goes like this. Two, three, four. <laughs> Show's not gonna get any better, folks. You might wanna leave now. Beat that Chattanooga traffic on a Thursday night. My friend's like, you're gonna write some pandemic songs, man. I'm like, no, I don't want to, I'm too lazy. Besides, you could just use songs that are already there that would work for the pandemic. Like if you did, uh... My Corona. That would work. <laughs> don't cough around here no more. Oh no, I was not listening. I allowed to listen to heavy metal when I was a kid because my mom found out. You remember? They said that if you played a heavy metal record backwards, you'd hear evil messages. Yep. You remember that? Yep. Some of you did that. I know you did. Go into your room, lock the door, take an Ozzy record, <laughs> play it backwards. <laughs> Satan wants a hot dog. <laughs> Yeah, like Ozzy Osbourne was smart enough to pull that one off. It's like, Ozzy, did you put secret messages in your records backwards? It's like, I don't know, 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 I but uh, I don't know, this is why I do comedy. And it's, see, I, re I compare myself to my ancestors. I am just not matching up to my ancestors. My grandpa, he was in the Navy. He was a rancher, stud. My dad was a world-class athlete, has a master's degree. <laughs> I have an app on my phone that reminds me to drink water. <laughs> so you got but I don't even know what to call what I do. People call me a Christian comedian. I am a Christian. I do comedy. I mean, no other job has Christian in front of it. There's no Christian plumber. <laughs> and face it, I don't care what you believe. Just fix my pipes, okay? <laughs> I have my pipe, my toilet's going like this. Can you make it go like that? You can't save money with kids either. I bought my kids a $5 slip and slide one time. Got an $800 water bill. That's what happened. <laughs> It's like we just laugh so hard, and we're just so good. I, I asked the dumbest, we just asked the dumbest questions of one another, right? Um, she called me one day, and I said, hello, she goes, I'm lost. I go, where are you? <laughs> she goes, I don't want to be married to you anymore. <laughs> See, I'm not a witty guy. I think that, you know, some people laugh because they relate to what I'm talking to. I used to write what I thought was funny, now I just tell the truth. And people are like, I'm not alone. <laughs> that guy's a much bigger moron than I am. <laughs> That's true. And here's the deal, folks. God is not our little helper in the car and in life. He is life. He's, he does, he's not our little supplemental, you know, little, gives us, he is the answer. Still is. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And, uh, isn't that cool? And the things of this world, the Bible says the eyes of men are never satisfied. God is the only thing that can satisfy. Some of you walked away, and I'm telling you, he's for real, dude. Because at one time, there was nothing. Let's talk a little science. There was nothing. And now there's all this. And I don't understand it all. A lot of you guys have been going through a lot of stuff. You don't understand it, but... Some of those questions will be answered in heaven. Imagine all the parents burning down Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> we had such a great time in Chattanooga tonight. 